Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just got an emergency prayer request. Sorry I haven't been available all day, but um, this one goes by the code name Hyena on Fleek. And uh, this one is 14 years old. So those of you who have children around that age, please consider how much prayer you would want your child to have. This is what they say, and I'm going to read their prayer request. God bless you. I am 14, and right now I am scared. Out of nowhere, my legs are kind of paralyzed. I can move them a little, but I can't walk anymore. Tomorrow, if it's worse, my mom will bring me to the doctor. I don't care if it doesn't get worse. I hope your mom takes you to the doctor. You need to be, you need to go through a lot of tests. But anyway, I'm going to pray and I ask you guys to pray with me. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would please intervene in this situation. Father, I ask you for total divine protection. Set your angels, guardian, warring and ministering all around her, Lord. Don't let this be a hassle. Don't let this be a life sentence. We ask you, Father, to reverse whatever damage may have been done. Make them think to to x-ray the, the back, the legs, to do all kind of tests on the brain, check for, I mean, to do CAT scans or MRIs, full body. I ask you, Father, to enable all kind of tests to be done. And I pray, Father, that not a stone goes unturned. But right now, in the name of Jesus, hopefully, Lord, you will work this out supernaturally, especially if they can't afford it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord, to reverse the damage. We rebuke paralysis in the name of Jesus. We rebuke spinal injury in the name of Jesus. We rebuke brain tumors in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to do a miracle in this young person's situation, whether they be young lady or young man. Please, Father, do a miracle in this body, in this 14-year-old's body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Healing, Lord. Healing is what we're asking you for. Thank you. Amen. Now, you guys agree with me in prayer on that one. How would you like to wake up and barely be able to move your legs out of nowhere? That is scary. God bless.